The Aurora Australis is just north of Commonwealth Bay, the windiest recorded place on the planet. Today, the weather is relatively calm for us with snow and a light fog covering our iceberg view. On board for his first trip to Antarctica is Dr. Miguel de Salas. His patch is the Southern Ocean as a Protestan taxonomist at the Australian Antarctic Division. A Protestan taxonomist is a person who studies the classification of protists. So in my case, I look at uh, counting and identifying the little protists in the water. Protists are single-celled, what are called eukaryotic organisms. So single-celled uh, organisms are composed of your bacteria, which are the tiniest of them, and things that, eukaryotes, which are our ancestors, they're things with the nucleus and so on and um, they're the ones that I count and identify. Mostly though, I study algae, things that actually, they're water plants, single cell water plants. How does that fit in with investigating the health of the Southern Ocean? Well, algae are the basis of the food chain in the Southern Ocean. Everything that lives in the, in the ocean has to feed on something else and, and the only thing that, that turns sunlight into food is algae, like plants do on land. And because they're very sensitive to their environment and changes in their environment, the, one of the first places that we expect to see changes in the Southern Ocean is in the composition of the different species of algae that live in there and how many of them there are and what groups they belong to. This is your first trip to Antarctica. Is it holding up to expectations? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, I was a bit worried about getting seasick, but that hasn't really been a problem. It's been great, yeah. Loving this weather compared to the sunny weather we had on the way down, so loving it. What's your highlight? Whales. <laughs> Seeing whales everywhere. Um, I've seen probably about six or seven different lots of them, So, and the little Adelie penguins on the ice floes. Seeing them running around. Yeah, loving it. You look at the little things for work, but outside work, it's the big things. Oh yeah, well who does? And they're so, especially the penguins are so cute. The whales are something that you just don't get to see on your day-to-day -day life. And a lot of the things that I'm seeing down the microscope as well, uh, they're things that you normally would never see in any other part of the world. The scientists on board have just started deploying moorings which will record snapshots of the Southern Ocean over the next two years. They'll be compared to readings being collected on the ship now to see how the polar region is altering with climate change. Karen Barlow, Antarctica.